We were exploring some goblin hideouts, as low-level adventurers usually do. The party at this time consisted of Discord the Druid, Joshua the Rogue, Frida the Bard, and Bob Saturn the Wizard. So far we had explored plenty of this hideout. You see, we were tasked with killing all the goblins in the nearby area because they were interfering with a trade route used by many thief organizations in the city. As we explored these dark caverns, we came across a specific path that led to a room that was lit by flames. When we got to around 50 feet from the entrance, the DM told us the following. In the center of the room, directly in front of the entrance, you see a throne made of bones and skulls. Sitting in it, it's a fully armored hobgoblin, resting his head in one of his hands and holding a bow in the other. At this point, a smart party would roll stealth and altogether approach without separating, unless you have like a fighter or a paladin that can go in and call attention to themselves. But this is D&D, folks. You have better chances of finding a brain with legs than a competent smart party. So of course, the bard, the wizard, and the druid rolled stealth, and the rogue rushed in. To be fair to Joshua, the DM did specify that the hobgoblin was looking very worn out. So what's the problem? We are four, he is one, no big deal, right? Let me read you the player's handbook entrance on the half goblins. They have dark orange or red orange skin, uh, their training has given them a proficiency with a multitude of weapons and armor, and they are strategic thinkers in the goblinoid race and hold an extreme hatred for elves. So not only you're rushing in on them on their base, but also Joshua. You're a fucking elf! So after reading that, you might have inquired that it was indeed a trap. As soon as Joshua stepped into the room, giant rocks fell that blocked the path for the rest of the party and he was alone in a room with the final boss of the dungeon. And to add insult to injury, from behind tapestries that were hanging on the walls covering it almost entirely, 12 goblins and 4 bugbears appeared. I don't care how nimble rogues are, you won't survive two turns against so many enemies. So first turn goes by, uh, Joshua goes first because he had a very lucky roll on initiative. He shoots at the hobgoblin, he hits, and then he goes for bonus action dodge, which means he will be harder to hit. The only reason he survived is because the druid became a tiny itty little ant and crossed the rocks to help him, you know, cure him, cast AOE spells that could do some crowd control. He was very lucky. Meanwhile, the rest of the team was trying to figure out how the fuck do we break these rocks. A few turns later, they realized, wait a minute, we have a monk with us. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, there was a monk with us, he was a half-orc, and he was so forgettable that a few sessions later, not even the DM remembered his name. <laughs> So after he broke the rocks with his bare fists, the rest of the team could get in. We beat the bad guys, we loot their bodies, and the rogue says, I check behind the tapestries. He does so, and he finds a secret gold stash in the back. Oh ho lucky. We got the loot, and guess how much gold there was in that pile? A hundred. It was a hundred gold. Because the amazing Hobgoblin had the fantastic idea of let's grab a lot of copper coins and pay them gold and just buy shit with it. So yeah, we almost died, it was horrible, and we did it for a hundred gold and no magic items, which was very fucking infuriating. So yeah guys, that was the video. Uh, I'm trying to do a once a week DMD themed video because I am really getting into it. I started playing only on Sundays and now I'm playing almost three times a week, which is a lot for me and I don't have much time in hand, so you know. So yeah, stay tuned for next week where I will be making either Ultimate Guide for Bards or Ultimate Guide for Warlocks and I hope you will like that too. Bye bye. Soy víctima de un rogue, frágil temperamental, que en vez de esperar por mí, se fue a luchar, se encontró contra el voz final, no se la esperó, solo peleando quedó, como no logró ganarle, le regaló. 
Flash super espectacular Volutas de humo, titilo en su encuentro oh, 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 oh. Lo veo peleando y quiere entrar 